I've got all my baking supplies. I took it out of the closet. I keep them all just kind of thrown together in this box. So when I want to bake, I just take the whole thing out of the closet. And this way, everything is right at your fingertips. But I still am not sure how I'd be able to tell one box of sugar from another. If you're just going to have these two types of sugar, you might want to put a rubber band on the brown sugar. And that's how you're going to distinguish that this is the brown. And then the white doesn't have doesn't a rubber band on it. Mm -hmm. um, you can also make a label, a large mm -hmm. print label. Some people may write it right on the box, but sometimes that's overpowered by the other things that's written on it. So you might want to make a label, and then you can attach it very simply by using a rubber band. Well, that's easy enough. And what about, would I also maybe label all these other things, the baking soda, the baking powder? Well, you could actually mark these, again, with a handwritten label, or you could put a big P on top of this container for baking powder, or some people will be able to differentiate it by the shape. This is a circle for the powder and a square for the soda. We're placing these items into a tray. It just makes it easier. The tray has a boundary and things won't go to different sides of the counter and you'll spend less time looking for things and more time making what you're here to make.